So my focus is on uh, robots that uh, help people. And so we work on um, enable robots to learn new skills by actively engaging in uh, interactions with the environment and but also with human users. So typically robots learn uh, using a method called reinforcement learning which is similar to dog training. So the robot does something good, it gets a positive reward, but this is not uh, very efficient, it requires a lot of uh, trial and error. And so in our case, uh, we also introduced a human in the loop. And not only the human intervened during the learning process, but in fact the human acted as an adversary. And the inspiration behind that is that uh, when we had the robot just in the wild interact with uh, real users, we found out that people often acted as uh, bullies to the robot. They were very antagonistic, uh, sometimes uh, uh, when the robot was mobile they tried to stand in front of the robot to see how the robot reacts. So right now the, the whole experiment was run in a simulation environment because that gave us a lot of freedom to try different algorithms and different types of disturbances. So what happened is that the robot um, attempted to grasp an object and if the robot was successful, we did not stop there. But we had a human try to snatch the object away from the robot. And what we found out is that with this additional signal that resulted from human intervention, the robot was able to learn how to grasp objects uh, robustly and uh, much more efficiently. So in other words, uh, this type of um, um, adversarial input that the human provides is an additional source of information that the robot can use to reason about uh, grasp robustness. From a learning perspective, that can actually be a good thing.